Hello, Adele. <coughs> that made me really, really sad when you said you wouldn't collaborate with me. Why not? Don't you like me? When I get asked about the people that I've, I've never been able to interview before and who would I love to interview, this lady has been top of my list for quite some time. In fact, the whole time I've done radio. So I'm so pleased to say welcome to Capital Breakfast, Adele! Yeah! Yeah! Adele, right. firstly... My God, and you got your dad's eyes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's uncanny. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Hi, hi, hi. You look absolutely fabulous. Are we zooming into your house right now? Yeah, we're in my office. Very nice. I don't, I've never really used it before. I'm not going to lie. I can't believe it's been five years, right, since your last single. And, and I mean, look, easy on me. You're finally back with it now. I mean, you've, you've teased it and teased it, and now it's finally here. Do you, I guess uh, it's a weird question. Do you still get nervous putting music out? Because, I mean, you're such a pro at it and done it for so long now. I get, like, butterflies about it and stuff like that. But this was the first song that I wrote for the album. So this is, like early 2019 that I wrote this song. So I'm desperate for it to come out, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, I never knew that this was going to be the first single and stuff like that. But um, I'm just really excited to put this project out. It really um, it really means a lot to me, probably more than any other projects. But maybe I might have said the same thing at the time about them as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would have come out last year had the world not shut down um, and I've been able to finish it properly and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm like, I wouldn't say I'm like nervous, as in like scared nervous, but it's definitely like, been real building up to it for about you know a good over a year oh amazing i mean we all were very lucky we had this moment where yesterday we just sat around and just played the track in full and it was like a religious experience i'm not gonna lie there <laughs> single tears going around the room uh, what was who did you play it to first and what was their reaction to it i sent like a, a snippet of me like singing it as i was writing it to three of my really close friends here i'm in la at the minute i'm coming home in a, in a little while um and I was just a little bit like, well, what do I do now? I've sort of like, I've already written a, like the Adele song. Like, you know, it's yeah. just it's very me, the song, like, you know, and it's just, that wasn't really the direction I was hoping to go in, which the rest of the album's not necessarily like it and stuff like that, but obviously with elements of it. But yeah, it was it was three of my friends here and um, I think one of them loved it. The other one was like, I'll try something else. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, the, other, and the other one was like, I don't care, I'm busy. Like, let me know. <laughs> You're quite showbiz, Adele. Let's just throw it out there. You're quite showbiz. I show can be if I need to be. Right, yeah. OK. So, you know, we have people like Ed Sheeran come in who always say, you know, I've sent it to Elton or this person or that person. Have you actually sent it to anyone artist-wise that you just wanted their approval before you've put it out? No. Good. I think I played it to Drake maybe last year when he was in town just to get... I'm like, do you think this is, like, what people will like want or not want? And he was like, absolutely, like... But that's it, really. I'm sorry. That's it, really? I what, think Drake... Uh, Drake's it. obviously, like, an incredible and amazing... <laughs> Mate, but um, it, um, no, I mean, I don't send it around to like various people being like, Can I get your thoughts on this? Can you, like, you know, <laughs> let me just pick that name off the floor. Yeah, yeah, it's always just about how it makes me feel. You know, quality control is my forte, um, oh, my and I can write a song about my own experiences and my own life and stuff like that. People certainly aren't waiting like for like a club banger from me. Um, I feel like I'm gonna give people what it is that they've um been missing while I've been away. For sure. Oh, you are making me homesick. Oh, oh come no. back. You can come in and see us when you're back. I'm coming really, really soon. I just had to wait for my NIE or something to get back here. I don't know. It's, oh, yeah, it's too much complication <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. yeah, I got locked out. I got locked out from home. Yeah, <laughs> but I was there I was there a lot last year and it was it was lovely. I oh. loved it. Well, make sure you get a decent cup of tea if you come to us. Oh, 100%. Can't get that I, out in LA, can you? Oh, no, because the dairy's different. You know, the cows <laughs> are quite happy. Like that. But I've got PG tips all the time. I carry them in my handbag. Oh, well. I love it. We were recently joined by comedian Jimmy Carr, right? And he he did a bit of a roast roulette with his random celebs popped up and he had to say what he had to say. And I'm sad to say he took it upon himself to roast you, Adele. I'm being roasted. No one can roast me. Get <laughs> Ah, Here we go. Hence the new album. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he said. The thing I love about Adele, not just the music, not just the voice, and the new singles out Friday, right? It's yeah. pretty exciting. Because like, you know it's going to be good. You know, But here's the thing. When she does PR, when she does any stuff, it's incredible. And as soon as she opens her, her mouth, it's like, oh, it's like a plumber's mate. How rude. No, it's true. It's true. <laughs> My accent at all. I've been here for like a few years and I haven't lost my accent at all. He actually really has a very recognisable voice, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. you can hear the Probably Botox, really Adele. That's yeah, what yeah. you should say. Oh. You can hear the Botox. That's you, not me. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the new set of teeth that he's got as well and the hair job. Like, he, he'll, uh, he'll be fine with that. Your Instagram Live was one of the oh. best things I've seen this year. There was one thing that actually broke my heart, Adele. Am I going to collab with Peppa Pig? 
No. Turned down and rejected the idea of actually collaborating with Peppa Pig. You may regret saying that now because we've actually got a voice message from a piggy celebrity. Hello, Adele. <laughs> that made me really, really sad when you said you wouldn't collaborate with me. Why not? Don't you like me? <laughs> Is that the real nowadays Peppa? Yes. yes. Real Peppa. Peppa. Peppa, that ain't the one of you I know. That's not the same voice as the one that I grew up with my son. Oh, my gosh. But Peppa, I've, 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 yeah, I've already said today, I regret it. I regret it. I spent three years watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I do really regret it. And any time you want to go jumping in muddy puddles and singing muddy puddles, I'm with you, babes. <laughs> I felt terrible the second I said it. <laughs>